Hi guys, I'm Nicholas Copley with Lionheart Medicinal Gardens and today we'll be making a ginger mint floral tea. The first plant that we're going to harvest is hairy wood mint, also known as Blephilia hirsuta. And as you can see, it has a lot of hairs on the stem. It has a square stem, placing it in the mint family. And its leaves are opposite, meaning they grow this way, and then this way, and then that way again. Hairy wood mint has several medicinal qualities to it. A few of those being that it's really great for digestion, really good for cooling the body down on a hot summer day or if somebody has a fever and it just brings a nice refreshing taste to this tea. The next plant that we're going to harvest is wild ginger. It's got these beautiful heart-shaped leaves. The scientific name is Oserum canadense. Now this is wild ginger. It's got this beautiful flower right here. It's got a really strong like ginger-like scent. It's really good for relieving gas, promoting digestion, stimulating the appetite, um, fevers, colds, coughs, all of those sorts of things as well as many others. The next plant that we're going to harvest is red clover. The scientific name is Trifolium pratense. And as you can see, there is a large abundance of it right here in front of us. And what we want to harvest is the flowering tops. Mm. So red clover is really good for digestion, um, liver and kidney function, detoxification, and how we can identify it is it has the three leaf clover leaves and then it has a coloration on it as well where it gets lighter and then darker again with hairy stem everybody knows what red clover looks like the last plant that we're going to harvest is off of the ginkgo tree and we want to harvest the leaves. Many people know this as ginkgo biloba or maidenhair tree. We will be here forever. 